Hey everybody, it's me Joe. Just thought I'd do the uh, little uh, Tumblr thing that's out there for the uh, 30 songs that remind you of yourself. Well, I got a little over half of them because I couldn't think of some because I don't really dance, so I thought I was right out. But number one, a song you like with a color in the title. Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix, of course. A lot of these I'm not going to play because I don't want to get sued and I have no money, so... Uh, two, a song with a number in the title. One by Metallica. It's one of my favorites. It's one of the first singles I ever bought by them. And it was my first real, like, I think this was, had to be back in like 7th grade, 8th grade that I got that. And it was pretty awesome for the time, so. Uh, let's see. A song that reminds you of Summertime. I'd have to go with the uh, Dune Time by Sublime. Because I just really like the song and it's pretty cool. A song that reminds, or number four, a song that reminds you of someone you'd rather forget. This is a song that reminds me of one of my exes, Spiders by System of a Down. Like, she was fracking obsessed with that song. I mean, just, we'd be listening to something else, she'd automatically pop that in and start listening to it. I liked it at first, but it just got to the point where it drove me absolutely freaking crazy. I'm probably going to wake somebody up because I just turned the volume up for this one song that must be played loud is this one. Hold on. Yeah, I have a big weird taste in music. Those O Fortuna, which, yeah, that thing, if you have that cranked, especially on a really good car stereo or a home system, blow your mind sometimes. Uh, like I said, six, song that makes you want to dance. Eh, don't really dance that much, so don't really have any. A good song to drive to, which is number seven. I'd be uh, Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. Really like it. Grew up in the late 70s, 80s, all that, with parents that were older and brothers that were from the 60s, so love a lot of that good stuff. Uh, where the hair did I just leave off? Yeah, number eight. Song about drugs or alcohol. About the only real drug I do anymore is caffeine. Because I used to be a big drinker. No, I don't do that crap anymore. So I'd say that would be, uh, dang it, I freaking nursed it. Uh, Coffee Mug by The Descendants. Really like the song. Punk song, pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, there's the purr. I'm so slow and blunt doing this. Okay, that was a song. Uh, oh, man, I keep getting it wrong. Number nine. A song that makes you happy. Of course, don't worry, be happy. I just puts a smile on my face pretty much every time I see it. I really like it and it's pretty cool. I remember it from being a kid, so. Uh, a song that makes you sad, I'd have to say, would be uh, Don McLean's American Pie, because my mom passed away a couple years ago and it really reminds me of her every time I hear it, so. I can't get through the song without welling up at least a little bit. Uh, let's see, Sherbridge of Purr. That was the sad song. Let me just highlight that, and so I'm working off of a stupid freaking notepad. And okay, number ten, a song that er, that was ten song that made you sad, a song you'd never get tired of. Uh, Anima by Tool. It's what I started listening to in high school and stuff like that, and really got into them. And it's still it's just a song I really really like. So suck it. I don't know. I mean, I'm a total dork right now. So. Let's see, it's a Never Get Tired Of. A song from my preteen years, number 12, Bon Jovi's Dead or Alive. Believe it or not, I got the original cassette for that. I want to say I was in third grade, fourth grade. It's one of the first, like, actual birthday parties. I had it at Chuck E. Cheese. One of my best friends in school gave me the, C or the tape CDs. That freaking weren't CDs back then. What the hell am I thinking? Oh, by the way, if you want to know, one of the first CDs I got was actually Vanilla Ice, one of his partially live albums, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 soundtrack. I'm a dork. Yes, I know. Of course you can tell that already. Because I'm talking to a camera right now. For four minutes. And I lost my goddamn place again. Okay. A song that I picture. One of your favorite songs from the 80s. I have a bunch because I grew up through there, but I went through and, uh, here's the Yeah, uh, 
Bell Stars Eco Eco. It's from a uh, came back and it was on the uh, Rain Man soundtrack. I remember it from a bunch of other '80s movies and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to find all the song that you like played at your wedding. Number fourteen. Uh, Rail Charles, I Can't Stop Loving You. I just really like him. And it's a great song. So, uh, A song covered by another artist. It's one of my favorite songs. This could actually probably fit in another spot. Hurt by Johnny Cash. It was the cover of the Nine Inch Nails song. I thought was it just as good, if not better, in my opinion. One of your favorite classical songs. I listen to a whole bunch of different classical. I don't know the names of a lot of it. So, I don't know. The he to be... Oh, oh, the freaking flirted, flirted. Uh, I forget now. There's one that you hear it on the uh, pipe organ all the time. And there's a woman that played it on violin. You're going to yell at me, and I'm probably post about this after this, but I can't remember what the hell it was. Okay, so get off my back again. I am fucking bored. Not really this is kind of fun, because I haven't thought about these songs in a long time. Seventeen. A song that would, you would sing a duet with at karaoke, uh, Love Shack by F B-52s, or pretty much any of their stuff, I'd be willing to sing, and either part, don't care. Uh, whew, they're pretty fun. A song that you would... Uh, God, I get out of order. Oh, man, get your stuff in order. You're, you suck, you family. I don't care. A song that was in the year you were born, I got this just because it was the closest to the month I was born, which is October. It's Boogie Oogie Oogie by Taste of Honey, which I've never heard that song before. I actually just listened to part of it, and I'm not that into disco. So I'm going to just try to wing the next couple of these because I don't have anything from 19 to 27. So 19, a song that makes you think about life. I have no idea. I'm drawing a complete blank there. 20, a song that makes... Ah, oh, frick no, not going to do that one. So, yeah. Song with a person's name in the title. I know as Big Brown Beaver, but yeah, them. Uh, freaking. Yeah, Primus. I'm drawing a blank on some shit. A song that moves you forward. Pump up the jam. I, let's see. A song that moves you forward. Okay, I'm going to just put my finger up here so you don't have to look at my dumb face for this whole time. Something that everybody should listen to. Whatever you like. I'm not gonna force anything on everybody. Or song by a band that you wish were still together. Anything by the remaining people from Led Zeppelin. I think it'd be awesome if they toured again, but they got their own thing, so. A song by an artist who's no longer alive. Johnny Cash. Of course. Anything by him. A song that makes you want to fall in love. I have no idea. It's been so long, I don't know. A song that breaks your heart. Uh, number 28, the one I really like. A song by an artist with a voice that you really love. Uh, Janis Joplin, Peace of My Heart. I just really love her voice and I th think she is so awesome. Uh, 29, a song that remember from your childhood. Like I said, I have parents that grew up way before I did because I think my dad was in his 40s when I was born so one I really really remember from my childhood is uh, Chuck Berry's My Dingling it's a hilarious song I laughed at it the entire time even as a kid so really like that uh, yeah that was 20 and a song that reminds me of yourself number 30 People Are Strange by The Doors and you've just suffered through nine and a half minutes of a strange person talking to a miniature camera. Now I will go.